Hello everyone, welcome back to the 5 minute tech channel. Today we will be talking about a microservice architecture implementation with example part 3. In this uh, part we will be talking about how to build uh, an Ocelot API gateway microservice uh, using ASP.NET Core. So API gateway is essentially is something which encapsulates the internal system architecture and it provides an API that is tailored for each client. It, it might have uh, other responsibilities like authentication, monitoring, load balancing, caching or request shaping and management. But it essentially acts as a layer through which all the external systems interact with the APIs in the system. So if you see here the representation, uh, the Ocelot API gateway stands um, in front of all the APIs which is product, shopping cart, discount and order and it interacts with the client apps. So if you see this, this is another presentation of the Ocelot API gateway uh, wherein we have multiple web APIs and it all goes through API gate, Ocelot uh, based API gateway to the external clients. Ocelot internally, a Ocelot essentially is an open source uh, framework which is used for building the .NET Core API gateways and the project is aimed at uh, people using Core to build application designed with microservices or SUA architecture. Now this Ocelot also provides an easy way of writing a mapping file. Now this mapping file can be of environment specific also. You can write it for different uh, environments which you have in your application and it could be used to route the incoming HTTP request to an appropriate downstream services. So moving quickly on to the demo part, um, we already discussed uh, in the last session about the products API, so we'll not get into that. We will be talking mostly on the API gateway project. So API gateway project will simple web API uh, project type, which has uh, no controller and we'll be doing all our changes or the plugging in work in the startup and program files. To start with, we will have the startup um, CS modified. The first modification is to add an Ocelot, add Ocelot. As soon as you add this, it will get, you will get an error. So you have to add the relevant NuGet package. The NuGet package for that is Ocelot. And uh, as soon as you do that, you can, uh, uh, you can plug in the Ocelot in the pipeline. The next step is to add the um, await with app.use Ocelot. This internally goes to the middleware of Ocelot and adds those um, services. The second, the second part which we have to do is to go to program CS file and add a JSON file which will have all the configurations. So I have written this single JSON file but you can write it as per your environment setup. You can write multiple JSONs here. Now I have written a route. The route essentially is something which points to um, when you call a particular API where it should go. So this is a, a route. We have the products API in here and that API needs to be called through API gateway rather than directly. Now this products itself is, is hosted on your um, port 44364. I am just launching the settings of product services. And if you see here, the, uh, the, the downstream host and port is localhost and the same port as the, as the products API. So this could be everything or you can even customize it to whatever your requirement is. But we have kept it simple and just kept it as everything. Second point here is coming back to the startup is to configure the swagger. So swagger has to be configured so that you are able to navigate to the particular APIs through swagger itself. So first step is adding a, um, a new get which is mmlib swagger for ocelot. When you do that you can go ahead and add the services dot add swagger for ocelot and pass in the configuration. And the second half would be to comment this basic implementation and write a new implementation which will be app dot use swagger for ocelot and you can provide the default docs. In the Ocelot JSON, you have to write the Swagger endpoint settings, uh, which will have essentially have these uh, details. And also you need to provide the Swagger key for a particular um, pointer in the Swagger endpoints. So having said that, I will run the application and demonstrate how it works. 
Um, I have set up the multiple startup project for both API gateway and product services. So one will be running on 44364 and the other prop, uh, the API gateway will be running on 44359. So I'll just start the application. So you see 44364 and 44359. 44364 as I mentioned, 44364 is something which is running for the product service, product API and that is this that is this one and whereas 44359 is the one which is running through gateway if you see here 44359 is the gateway uh, launch settings so just look at this it both of them have the same because we have configured 44359 which is api gateway 2 point to the products api and it is listing all the products and then it will work in the same manner as a standalone api would I hope you like this video on the Ocelot API Gateway. If you have any questions or feedbacks, do post in a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.